Switch to Martin. Now Guido. That's it long range. He's got it. His first the Royal Jersey. One nil San Diego. Stadium in San Diego. It has been a sellout the last few days. Loyal SC ready to kick off this season. Welcome inside Torero Stadium. Welcome to Match Day Live. Jordan Carruth with you. No Darren Smith today. He'll be back very, very soon. Sunglasses are back here in San Diego with our earlier kickoffs. Um, sorry for the late start, but we do have something in our contract where we say the beers need to be a certain temperature before we hit the airwaves. So we finally hit that temperature. Welcome in. It's Match Day Live. We're getting ready for a friendly today. San Diego Loyal playing host to Club Tijuana. This is a big time and fun matchup for the region. And tonight and today on Match Day Live, we're basically going to celebrate something that we do quite well on this show, but we want to celebrate the opportunity to see San Diego take on Club Tijuana. I mentioned no Darren Smith, but I am joined by a very special guest today here in our opening segment. He is the Spanish voice for Club Tijuana, uh, broadcast today on Aztec America, and he is Ricardo Pony Jimenez, and he joins us on Match Day Live for the very first time. We must welcome I know, I know, you no. in the right I, way I have with to the enjoy cheers. This. <laughs> cheers. Cheers man. to you. Thank you so no, much for no, joining the show. For, thanks for inviting me, Jordan. And, and yeah, this is, this is going to be the greatest game ever, you know? The first game agree. between these two teams, one on Tijuana, one on San Diego, and it's going to be fun, and I'm sure they're going to see a lot of goals today. Yeah, I've been thinking about the idea of this match for a very long time. I've been thinking about this idea before San Diego, San Diego yeah. Loyal even existed, going down to Estadio Caliente, and then just thinking about, like, what if we had a San Diego team where these two could play each other? Now it's a real thing. Now, now it it's exists, real. And it's right here on the field. You know, it's something about, it's something like, um, Thank you very much. We have the, the we have lineups. The 11. Yeah, we have the so lineups. Bases and lineups. What a show! Yeah, this is going to be like I have to say, like Galaxy against LAFC. You know, okay. the war of traffic. We have to say the war of the border. You know, right. it's something like that. It, it's it, it's going to be fun, and yeah, it's it's all hilarious, man. Yeah, I'll let you look over the starting eleven so you can get comfortable. We, you've heard, at least I hope you have heard the broadcasts. Um, I heard the Jack Blake call. You, oh my goodness, so, so good. Uh, has, there, has there been a certain player or two with San Diego that you've especially enjoyed doing goal calls for? Jack Blake oh, wow. has given us a lot of really good shots from distance. Mm -hmm. Guido has had a lot Guido of really too. good moments. Barry as well. Heads or, I mean, is there one play, one or two players where you're, you're, there's an extra, extra level for you? I believe for me it's Jack Blake. Yeah? Jack Blake, yeah, because is the one who makes those kind of goals, you know, yeah. out of the area, shooting like that. Uh, and he makes like four <laughs> and before that one. And the one I say, Pata Bendita. So yeah, I think he's, he's the man for the shooting in this team. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and, and I like the way that he plays. He uh, take the ball, he risks in front of the rival, so yeah, he had a lot of skills. Yeah, so, yeah has, I like him. He has I like a blessed him a foot, there's no question about and that. And Miguel Berry, it's, it's a shame that he's not anymore with the San Diego, with the San Diego Loyal, but uh, I think Blake's gonna be there. Uh, he's, I think the Blake's, Blake's fitting in just fine. Yeah. Uh, tell us what you know about Club T1 and the Cholos team coming in. It's a team a lot of people in San Diego know about. A lot of people go down and actually watch at Estadio Caliente. What should people expect to see from Club T1 tonight? Well, today we expect to see the the first 11, um, the first time, um, they have to try with the, uh, the star game, the star team, sorry about that. Yeah. So we have to see maybe La Culebra Castillo, that's one of the uh, star players on the San Diego, on the Cholos team. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have it, we have to see Victor Guzman, he's one of the youngest players and, and he plays a really, really, really good with Tijuana. And um, obviously we, we don't have a Jonathan Orozco, that's the goalkeeper and the Obviously, the, the figure from Tijuana, but mm -hmm. we're gonna have a lot of a lot of other um, uh, players like like uh, Lucas right Lucas Rodriguez. Yes. He's one of the 
11, <laughs> they started 11 too, so yeah, we have a lot. Yes. Uh, they're, they're missing a few players because of international duty club two on us. So it's of not course. the full strength. But at this point, we're about, how, how far away? 19 minutes from kick. We got to yes. say goodbye to Pony. He's got to get up. He's got to get ready for this. I Thank you for ready, joining yeah. us. Cheers to you. Oh, man. One last Jordan. little special moment before the broadcast. Thank I'm you. I'm hoping you get a Jack Blake moment tonight. I hope so, too. Yes. I hope so. And I, and I really want to do something like that. Like, La pata Castillo. La pata bendita. Makes the goal. Hizo la anotación este día. So I want to say that. <laughs> I'm so glad he did that. I, it just sounds so good. I cannot even come close to that. All right. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. We'll find out what employee walks onto our our set next. Your summer starts here. With big savings on a new Toyota, you can go out and do all the things that make summer the best time of the year. But don't miss out on all the fun. See your Toyota dealer and catch a great deal today. Right now, drive home a stylish new Corolla with a low $199 a month lease. Or you can save big with $1,500 factory cash back. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. At Chosen Foods, we are inspired by the vibrant culinary lifestyle of the Baja Med and, of course, by avocados. From our flagship avocado oil to our family of dressings, mayos, simmer sauces, and guacamoles, the versatility of all Chosen Foods avocado-based products offer you the freedom to be both healthy and creative in the kitchen. Join us in the sun-drenched utopia of chosen foods. The avocado. Celebrate it. During this pandemic, many families are worried about Disney healthcare facilities. I'm Dr. Gail Knight, Rady Children's Senior Vice President and Chief Medical Officer. I'd like to share with you the advice that I give my own family and friends. The best thing that you can do to keep your child healthy is to continue to keep routine appointments like vaccinations and regular checkups. This keeps you, your child, and our community as protected as possible. We are always open, we are here for you, and we are safe. Time to get moving with the financial partner that's here for your journey. From small steps to big milestones, USE Credit Union is here for you. With tools to help you bank fast, solutions to help you go far, and a team of dream makers that's ready to help you step forward with confidence. USE Credit Union. Back inside Torero Stadium, Match Day Live rolls on. We want to give our thanks to Pony for joining us in segment one. That was a lot of fun. We're moving very quickly on today's show. So uh, rolling right into segment number two, Jordan Carruth with you. We are at Torero Stadium getting ready for San Diego Loyal against Club Tijuana. Joining me now is Shannon McMillan, who has some free time today. <laughs> Cheers to you, Shannon. Cheers. Welcome to Torero. Good to be here. Um, we talked about the starting 11 last segment, yep. so we're going to go ahead and move forward. There's some notes, some news with San Diego that I want to talk about. Miguel Berry scored his first wow. goal for major, in Major League Soccer for Columbus. Yes. I'll give you the breakdown on this. Columbus was down a man. They were down 2-1 on the road in Cincinnati. Uh, Barry gets it, nets it, 2-2 on the road. Uh, I love and it. celebrates in the corner with his teammates. And you could tell it meant a lot to me. I love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a special moment for him. It's an incredible first MLS goal. And to know that he came here again and just the confidence he got out of playing here. Mm -hmm. And to see him take that next step is exciting. You know, it's, it's a heartbreaker for us because it's sad to see him go, but you want to see him do well. And he embraced that opportunity. And I hope that whether it's Columbus or anyone else really takes note that he's a special player and he's a game changer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we want, want him back. I know, we want him <laughs> back, but we want him to succeed as well. So uh, someone who's actually in the house today is Rubio Rubin. Yes. I don't know if you had a chance to see him. I saw him, he was at training earlier this week. Yeah. I'm sure you've had a chance to talk to him, but he's someone else who's had that, it's not the same story as Miguel, but coming to San Diego, yeah. having success, and then seeing that success carry over at the MLS level. And what you love is that they come back and they're thankful for this 
the, one, the process, and I think whenever you have the adversity and you have to fight through that adversity, when you finally get that success, you enjoy it that much more. So I think for the troubles and trials that he had coming here at the end of last season and then going in and just killing it up in Salt Lake is incredible. But then to see him come back and having heart to hearts with the team and Landon, it just shows how much Landon and the culture he's creating that it's about these guys more as men and what's going to happen for them beyond the field as well as what they're going to do on the field. And when you can bring those two together as well as Landon does, it just makes it for something for truly special. Um, something that will be very, very special is if we get to see Charlie Adams' hair, which is pretty long. <laughs> it goes beyond his shoulders. If that is bleached blonde, and that yes. could happen based on the result tomorrow in the Euro final. England takes on Italy at 12 noon. Um, we have some Englishmen on this side, so yes. I know Jack Blake very interested, Jack Metcalf, Charlie Adams. They all have a bet with Sal Ziza. <laughs> Italy against England. Um, I'm rooting for Italy, and for a lot of reasons, including that person right there. Yes. Also, I want to see Charlie Adams' hair bleached blonde. <laughs> I mean, Sal, I think, would look good with the blonde hair, but it's shorter. Yes. Charlie, there'd be more yes. effect to it. Uh, you know, and I think I'm a house torn because my son's cheering for Italy. Okay. One, because he wants to see Charlie with that long, luscious mane he as a blondie. Um, and he's also thankful for the fact that pasta comes from Italy and as you get my son's a carb man so he's that that's where he's leaning I am personally rooting for England mm. but okay you want to see Sal bleach blonde uh, yeah but you know I just hope they do the brows and the you know he, for Charlie too he's gonna have to go full blonde. you want him to he's got to he can't go well I think he called it silver fox you he can't did. go silver fox and then this big bushy dark you he gotta, called it like Gandalf I think yeah it's, yeah it's you, like got, you gotta go full you just gotta know. Neck up. Should he like dye the oh, eyebrows? Yes. I agree. Oh, All right. absolutely. Okay. I, I might have to help one. him with that. And you're rooting for England, why? I don't know. I just always loved English, English okay. soccer and the way they yeah. play the Premier League and the players that come from that. So I just, you know. I get it. And then, you know, you get to know the likes of the Charlie Adams, the Jack Blake, the right. Metcalfs, and just great guys. So you kind of pull it. Nothing against Zizo and his family. I love them too. My son has Zizo's jersey on, um, but just. England, it's, it's right. been a long time coming for them. Like if that match impacts the players, I think you'd rather England win because there's more players rooting for England yes. on the San Diego Loyals roster. So if they lose, yeah. more players on SD will be disappointed. So yes, maybe we should be rooting for we England, could have but more, I'm still going for Italy. And we could have more blondes or silver foxes right. by Wednesday night for the uh, next game. So that, this, that's going to be a better uh, pregame show you're going to have. That's a quick turnaround, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It, it is. And All they're right. going to have to get it done. Yeah, we are. It's uh, What do you do in a game like this? I, we're expecting the starters for 45 minutes is my last question for you. Yeah. Um, you get your starters for 45. Other players get a chance to really get some experience. What do you really want to learn from something like this? You know, for me, I'm kind of torn. This is okay. a situation where the team's been on such a roll. You want them to keep playing and have that synergy, but you also are so wary of just so many things that could go wrong. So I think we're going to see a, the good core starting group for the first 45, mm -hmm. and then a whole new lineup. We see a lot of the um, loyal select players and the academy players players that um, are signed to Academy contracts warming up. So I think we're going to see those younger faces and amazing for them to get an opportunity, you yeah. know, an opportunity to show Landon what they can do and what they can bring at a high level. So um, you just hope you get through that first half without any issues. And that to me is just nerve wracking, especially with the tight turnaround. And it's kind of one of those where I, I in my mind, I'm like, is Landon kind of kicking himself for squeezing this in and not just letting the guys have a break. But, um, you know, I think they're, they're going to get after it because if you play with the fear of getting injured and you play tentative and, you know, a little bit softer, that's when you get hurt. She is our star, Shannon <laughs> McMillan, here on Match Day Live. Thank you so much. Enjoy the match. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers. Here, uh, cheers to no three points, but just a fun experience. This fun is evening. great. This is a great thing to celebrate. This I love is, the fact that yeah, we're see against you. Great Tijuana. night for San Diego and yeah. soccer in general. All right. One segment to go. We'll wrap things up after this. It starts off with a little seed. And with a little love from nature, it sprouts to life. And when delicious fresh fruits and veggies are perfect, they are rushed to the home of fresh. Sprouts, where goodness grows.
Want a perfect pair of sunglasses for your every occasion? Hit up the Knockaround Custom Shop. With over a million possible combinations, why not get a pair for every you? 8 a.m., I need a coffee, you. Clocking a few miles, you. Game day, you. Happy camper, you. Fun in the sun, you. On the slopes, you. Dog days, you. Happy hour, you. Si se puede, you. The Knockaround Custom Shop. You design them, we build them. I'm not even sure what's happening here, and I know it's fast, but I'm in love with you. We're gonna be together for evs. And I'm gonna keep you looking good, boo. That's why I got you unlimited washes. That's right, we're gonna binge wash, babe. <laughs> Commit to your car. What are you waiting for? Welcome back. Match Day Live rolls on. Our final segment, Jordan Carruth with you. Darren Smith will be back on Wednesday night as we get ready for San Diego Loyal's next regular season match. Tonight, a friendly and a very good reason to celebrate, which is something we do here on Match Day Live. Club Tijuana taking on San Diego Loyal. And joining me right now is council member Raul Campillo, District 7 for those here in San Diego. Welcome. I gave you a quick background on kind of just tradition we have here on Match Day Live. Um, the matches that are actually in league, we've been popping champagne. And it's awesome. worked really, really well. I know. We haven't lost since May, so yeah. Yeah, it's worked really well. And we're not saying it's because of the champagne. <laughs> I'm saying it. <laughs> but someone's saying it. Um, tonight's a friendly, though. It's a little bit different. We're celebrating. I, go, I went down to Estadio Caliente for years and years and years. The press box that was a little trailer, and now it's this big, glorious stadium. Today's the day to celebrate. And I think about all those memories and the fact that we get San Diego. So we are popping tequila. How about that? We're mixing it up. It's a friendly. It's not exactly the same. We're coming off a draw at home. We'll dive back into the champagne when Darren returns to the show. But how about you do us the honors uncorking the tequila allow and me we'll have a, no. we'll have some sips here on match day live what do you say keep about the tradition that? going right it, it's tradition serve the it's other important. person first let's uh we've already got something in that cup we're gonna go ahead and have to mix that up um but this is fun and now i'm seeing for the first time i don't know if you can get a great shot of it behind us but club tijuana are wearing brand new kits these were just unveiled a couple days ago and this is the first time that Club Tijuana will ever be wearing these. They look very, very good. Anyway, I just noticed that right now. It's happening behind us, so I wanted to bring it up. Raul, let's celebrate. Cheers to you. Salud. Salud. You mentioned you live good. nearby, and I, it looks like you come to these matches quite often. Yeah, this is, this is my second game this season. Uh, I live in Mission Valley, right down the street on Friars Road. Big soccer fan, big football fan all my life. You know, I know uh, all your fans right now know this is probably the biggest weekend in soccer in a long time with the Copa America and the Euro Cup tomorrow. Uh, but right now we're here to just enjoy the fact that Tijuana and San Diego can come together. At, you know, many families, many businesses, many residents are, just love this bi-coastal, bi-national uh, bi community. And we get to enjoy it over a soccer game. So what's better than that? It's a great setup. It's a reason to celebrate. There's no question about that. Um, we could talk about X's and O's and all that stuff. Forget about that. Let's talk about Familia. This is great. This is a great setup. My family came down last week. It's just been a fun new energy and atmosphere. What have you learned from like the locals and Chavos and just coming to these games at Torero? Well, Usually, what do you guys talk about as you leave these games? I mean, I think we're so excited to see such talent on the team, first of all. Yeah. Uh, when you got guys like Trey Muse, you got Sal Zizo, I mean, you know, Alejandro, he look like these are some great names mm -hmm. and they play here in San Diego. So I know sometimes you hear naysayers say San Diego isn't really ready for a soccer team. Well, 6,000 people show up to these games at Torero Stadium on a beautiful campus here in Linda Vista. And we got to celebrate the fact that this is in Linda Vista, a great neighborhood in San Diego. Uh, I think that's what we talk about. We talk about the team and the common experience. There's so many children who smile walking out of these games. It's such a great experience. All the seats are good view and the players are just top notch. It's, it's just such a fun experience. Yeah, your district covers Linda Vista, Mission Valley and east of that as well. The soccer culture, like there's plenty of soccer opportunity and creation here in your district. So 
What do you picture? Like when you when you vis like when you have a vision of what it looks like in the future. What do you think those districts look like with soccer? Well, I think, you know, everyone understands that San Diego is a place where, you know, colleges and the pros heavily recruit out of. We have great soccer players here and communities east like, you know, Sarah Mesa and Tierra Santa have really good uh, youth teams. Uh, it used to have Qualcomm Stadium. Everyone who drives past it now knows it's been pulled down. Right. We got the new Aztec Stadium coming up, but yep. I'm really looking forward to an MLS team one day uh, and, and someday soon, really. I know we have uh, a women's team that's coming uh, is right around the corner, but Every single one of my neighborhoods in District 7, all the way to Del Cerro and all the way back to Linda Vista, they love soccer. Uh, you know, campaigning, I would knock on doors and they'd say, oh, what do you love? I said, I love the Padres and I love FC Barcelona. Uh, I had family from Barcelona, and so I'm a really a big Iniesta, Xavi, Messi kind of guy. Ah, uh, so you know. So you're pulling for Argentina in the Copa. I, I am. You okay. know, I love Neymar from his five years with us, but I'm really about Messi. But you're Messi. rooting for Messi. Oh yeah, <laughs> Kun Aguero and Messi for sure. Yes. 100. Yes. Yeah. There's no. Con and we have that going on at the exact same time. Right. I will be streaming the Copa match while this is going on. It's just, it's a great night. I'll for be checking soccer. my phone. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and then we have the Euro final tomorrow. Do you, are you leaning one way or the other? Do you know? You know, who's I'm pulling. That one? I, I got to pull for England because it's been since 1960 since. Since they lifted a trophy. Uh, I rooted for Italy in the 2006 World Cup final and they took it. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm just excited. Hopefully in the future when the Copa America starts up again, they'll invite the United States back and we can see the men's team compete for the compete for the cup then. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Did you hear what the bet is amongst the San Diego loyal players for England and Italy? I did not hear. Sal Zizo, rooting for Italy, of Obviously, course. yeah. And we have a few Englishmen, Jack Metcalf, um, Jack Blake, Charlie Adams. They'll be rooting for England. Whoever loses will have to bleach their hair. So I'm rooting for Italy because I want to see Charlie Adams' hair that goes I, all the way I want to see that too. Full blonde. But he said he might go silver, not blonde. He might go like silver fox. Just, just go like Gandalf. Just go gold. Let's just go gold. That would be like he's a <laughs> Champions League winner. That's yes. right. That'd be like a Chelsea kit next year. <laughs> That's right. I had to get that in there with a Barca fan. Normally, I'm co-hosting with Darren Smith, who is a huge Barcelona fan. Oh, yeah. But you're stuck with a Chelsea fan. Today. It's all right. So I've talked with Darren about it before, so I know he's a Barca yeah, fan. Yeah, okay. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Enjoy the match. Hey, our pleasure. It's going to be fun tonight. Cheers to you. Let's do one more. Do you have any left? You can pour We some. got a little bit more. Here we go. Yeah, just a little it's, more. It's a good it's time. It's tradition, and, uh, and it works. I hear Mayor Gloria did it, so he did. we got to do it together. He did. In the court. You did right. great. Ten. Salud. Ten out of ten. Salud. What a great guest. Hey, pleasure. My Dude, pleasure. Well done. Thank you so much. I hope you had fun. I did have fun. Good. Hey, just smiles. Smiles. That's... Kick back some tequila. It's a good time. <laughs> I feel like that's a decent show to show. That's